Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to mourn the loss of the Parkan after many years of service to our industry. Many of us remember the true joy this instrument brought millions of people who went to see shows since the 1960s. The loss of the par does come with some gratification. There are those of us who won't miss the burnt fingertips or the frequent zap you got when adjusting or focusing the bulb. Hammering out the dents with a rubber hammer was routine. Replacing the cracked porcelain, bending the gel clips with pliers, and re-riveting the yoke back onto the body are a few things that we will no longer have to live with. It is always amusing to figure out how that 500 watt got mixed in with the rest of the rig. Many remember calling the bulbs numerically 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 while referencing the bulb types. Does anyone still remember which was which? If you were really cool, you had a par wrench that could adjust all the bolts and T-handles. And if you're really, really old, you'll remember when they were steel, which created a heavier than necessary rig. May the par can rest forever in peace and stay long in our hearts and memories. I am personally outraged by this. Who will be retired next? The demise of the par can has me worried about the future of us all. Par. I remember when 120 volts was enough, and now you're gone, and we're all living in a darker stage because of it.